much, Mr. Rankin. Chair, and thank you to Minister, Minister Wilson Rebo, and thanks for coming back with your officials. Uh, I wanted to ask about two or three things in the time available. The first, I think, on marijuana possession, building on Mr. Nicholson's question. Um, we heard testimony on March the 10th from the Public Prosecution Service that the government plans to spend three to four million dollars each year prosecuting charges of simple possession of marijuana. That's two to three percent of what the PPSC plans to spend overall for its program on prosecution of drugs, criminal code, terrorism in the coming year. At the same time, Justice Selkirk of the Ontario Court of Justice, in a case called uh, Racine, refused to accept a guilty plea to possession of marijuana. He said, quote, I recall distinctly the Prime Minister in the House of Commons saying it's going to be legalized. I'm not going to be the last judge in this country to convict somebody of simple possession of marijuana. You can't have the Prime Minister announcing it's going to be legalized and then stand up and prosecute it. It just can't happen. It's a ludicrous situation, ludicrous, close quote. So given these costs, concerns expressed by our judges, and your government's intention to legalize marijuana, have you as a minister considered calling a halt to further prosecutions for simple possession of marijuana? Well, thank you, uh, thank you, Mr. Rankin, for for the question, and it certainly uh, uh, has been a marijuana generally and its legalization has been a subject of of much conversation right across the country, uh, certainly including within the walls of of this uh, this place. As I, I said earlier, our government is committed to the legalization of marijuana and strictly regulating access to marijuana with the ultimate objective to keep it out of the hands of children and keep the process of the proceeds out of the hands of criminals. Um, with respect to decriminalizing marijuana right now, um, I think our Prime Minister has spoken very clearly around this. and in doing so would not achieve our ultimate objectives as I just described. But what we are committed to doing, working certainly with Parliamentary Secretary Blair, is to take our time um, to put in place a complex, the complex framework that is required and um, engaging with experts on a task force to provide recommendations, engaging with Canadians on this discussion and uh, knowing that uh, until such time as uh, marijuana is legalized, current laws uh, will continue to apply and uh, uh, looking to law enforcement agencies um, to uh, um, do and I certainly respect the jobs that they need to do in their in their various jurisdictions. So the consequence of that is kids will still be going to get crim criminal records or records that will affect their employment and their ability to travel and so forth at a time before your government gets its uh, consultations completed and their lives will continue to be dramatically affected by something that will be perfectly legal a, a year from now. I just wanted to, that's the consequence of what you're saying. Well, the, uh, the reality is, is that we need to ensure that we take consideration of all issues that um, come before us in terms of ensuring uh, the safety of products that are available, ensuring that we work um, on the health-related aspects and, and public safety aspects. But this, uh, um, your, your questioning and, and other questioning uh, highlights the, the need to ensure we're moving as quickly as we can on this and ensures that we, um, as parliamentarians and as a government, uh, uh, move forward and, and uh, put this, uh, this complex regime in place, but to ensure that we, we do it right. Right. Minister, on April the 28th, I 